Hello everyone, this is Will. Here we are again for another great training here at Apple One to One. We do appreciate all the likes and subscribes that you guys have been giving us. We want us to keep us growing. And today we're going to talk about photos and making a slideshow directly inside the Photos app for Mac. I thought I would take a recent trip I took to Sesame Place and put together a quick slideshow for everyone to take a look at and how easy it is to do. And we're going to show maybe some little tricks and uh, ways to make it look really good. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to be taking photos from a trip and we're going to put slideshow together. Now, there are many ways to do this, but I'm going to give you the way that I like. So number one is we have to select the photos that we want to do. So the event starts right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to hold down the shift key on your keyboard. And I'm going to go down to the last part of this event. Wonderful day, by the way, there at Sesame Place. So we're going to do this as the last photo right here. So these are the selected photos in blue. Now we have to decide on making a slideshow. Now, normally what you could do is you go right up to File here at Photos, and you can go Create, and then you can do Slideshow, right? And you would choose, you could use third-party apps on the App Store if that's possible, but we're going to use Photos. Here's the thing. It's doing everything in the order based on when it happened, but sometimes you may want to reorder things or maybe you don't want to include certain photos. So we're actually, in my method, I'm not going to do this. What I'm going to do first is I have them all selected and I'm going to create a new album with these. So I'm going to go back to file and I'm going to do something called new album with selection. There are 46 items in here. So I'm going to click on that and it put it down on the bottom here as a untitled album. So right away I'm going to call it Sesame Place. All right, and now the goal is to organize this based on how I want it organized. So here's an example. We have two photos right here. Uh, because I'm in a shared library, I don't want to have two of the same photos that look identical. So I'm going to delete one of them. So that gets rid of one. And I'm also going to change the order around. If you notice, there's a big bird on the left here. Then my son's going through this tunnel. And then there's a big bird photo right here. So I'm just going to drag and move that. This is much easier to organize than in the slideshows because it's so much harder to move things around. And I'm going to leave a couple photos in place just so you can see how uh, it's not as easy to do. And I think making an album prior to making the slideshow is the best idea. So I'm going to take a few more photos that are kind of identical. Maybe you don't want them. Just highlight them. You can do the command key to select individual ones. Hit delete. And might I add, you're not deleting them directly from the library. You're deleting it from the album. This is another reason why I like doing this because you could do this in an album and you can just get rid of like some photos that look identically the same. So that's what I'm going to do right now is go through a couple of these. And once I'm happy with my results, so I'm going to say right now I'm, I'm happy with this amount of photos right here. Maybe one video I don't want. So now here we are. We're going to take the entire album so we can highlight everything. Uh, again, I'm dragging from the bottom to the top. You can do that as well. There's like eight ways to do the same thing. And then what I'm going to do is go to File, Create, slideshow photos and we're going to give it a slideshow name so you can add to a new slideshow or if you have other ones you've already added you can add it there as well so i'm going to hit ok so now the slideshow has been made now you see it automatically added text and took the name of the event which is another reason why i like making an album prior to that so there are a few buttons here so we have the preview button which just simply shows a preview of your slideshow. That's what it does. We can stop that. There's a play button here. Now the difference is this puts it into full screen mode and now you can start playing it. But you notice, uh, let me get the music up here. There we go, we'll hit escape. And there is a video here. So again, if I wanted to just play this along, you can hear that they've already chosen music in the background. Beautiful photo there. Good job. Good job, buddy. All right. All right, great. So now we have that, but, and then there's an option here for looping. So if you want to loop it over and over, like if you just want to play it on your computer or you're streaming it to a television and you don't need to export it out or save it, this is 
what that's for. Okay, so we now have our slideshow. There is a plus sign here on the bottom. If there's a photo that's missing, uh, you can add photos or text. Now the text is if I select an image, hit the plus sign, there's a text option I can add on an individual photo. So if I have to describe something, you could do that. In this case, I don't need to, but if I do, I'm just gonna write, and then I can call it um, parade. And there we go. All right, and then let's go, and you can see it adds a little T here to that image. So you can see that if I was to start here and hit preview, you'll see uh, that happen. There it is. Rover! Rover! All right, there we go. And then the plus sign, you can add additional photos if you need to. Now let's talk about the three items here on the right. I wish they would actually tell you what these are, but of course, if you leave your arrow on top of it, you will uh, find out what it is. So let's go to Theme Picker. Now there are a couple different themes in here. By default it added the classic theme, but you could change this whole theme around. So we have a Ken Burns option. So Ken Burns is a popular effect where it makes, it basically moves the image in the frame. So as you can see it's moving around. There are all the different ones like reflections. There's, there's a lot of popular ones that you can choose from. So here's the problem though. You see, you see it's like it's like going through like crazy. So the problem is with that is it's like some of these themes may not actually work for something, especially with video. I will tell you with video when it comes to inside here, it's very tough and it's very annoying to be honest. So there are certain themes that will not work with video and that's why I'm showing you this because you'll see them now. Just showing you another one. It wants to keep it wants to keep moving through the slide trip for some reason. Good job. So you didn't finish the entire thing. Well, the is really Just to prove everybody Nicole is actually on the huh? See, it's it's skipping through a lot of things, and that's what makes this a little tough with video. That's why I think the classic, I think, is the only thing that really will play the entire video. It's annoying. I don't exp I don't know why. That is. I'm gonna just mute the audio so you can just see a little bit of the clip. So here's a perfect example where it's playing the entire clip because of the theme. My favorite one, however, if I had to pick one theme I like the most, it's vintage prints. I think it's really cool to see different images in the background as it plays. So just so if I hit preview, it's gonna just show an image, a bunch of different images in the background. And this is one of my favorite ones to do. When it comes to doing video, but as you can see, the video skips. And this is the problem with these themes. And I don't know why Apple does not update this. Uh, I think it's just they don't care. So video is very, very tough when it comes to this. So now going to music, you can go here and you can see your music library. Now important, you have to use music that's already in your machine. You can see if it's grayed out, you're not gonna be able to use it because you have to download it first. Also any copyrighted music will not be there. So if, I'm gonna take this one right here. As you can see, if I clicked it, it added it to the classical as well. And if you don't want the classical, you just hit the delete key. And now if I play it back, uh, it'll have a different song. So there we go. Uh, if you don't want any song, I mean, you could just have no music at all. And sometimes you can actually go to iMovie or even Final Cut and maybe play around with this a little bit more if you want to do that. But that's how you add music to it. Really simple. You could have no music at all. And like I said, you can go to iMovie maybe later on and add it, especially if you want to add more stuff to it and you want to maybe combine more than one song. So I would tell you, if you want to be very creative with this, you can make the slideshow inside of photos, but then go to iMovie since you already have it. And maybe you can add more tracks onto it and then finally we have right here uh, duration there's a custom duration how long do you want this slideshow to be for there is a fit to music option which will fit as long as the music plays the theme ha have specific themes here where you can do transitions you could scale the photos to fit the screen so like this but obviously for portrait photos you're gonna have a real hard time with that so definitely make sure you try to keep the scale on uh, for most themes so that's really it so a lot of times what I do is I'll do a vintage print I think that's my favorite one. I usually have no music. And as far as the theme, I, I'll have it maybe a certain length. That way I can have it longer. And then when I go to iMovie, I can put the music together. Finally, there is an export button up here. 
and when you hit export, that's going to export it out, and you have a format option. The highest that it's going to do is 1080p, I believe. I don't think it does 4K out of here, which is a little annoying. And by default, they use an M4V format, so it's a what's called a compressed format. It's not going to be a highest quality, so just know that. And like I said, Apple doesn't do much with these. Also, the projects you create here do not sync to your iPhone. You cannot work on slideshows inside of your phone or an iPad, which is a little annoying. So again, this is a very basic feature. Apple does not has not really done much with this in years regarding adding features, but if you want it, my personal opinion, I think some of the slideshows that they create are really great in here. And it's really easy to do. If you're just gonna do photos, it's really good. If you're gonna add video, you're gonna have to do the classic no matter what. And then I would recommend going to iMovie and actually putting tracks together. If you guys are interested, please in the comments, let me know if you want me to take it a step further. So you can go to export and then we'll save it to the desktop. I want to thank you guys very much for joining us for this quick episode today here on Slideshows. Hope you guys take some great advice from this and that we can move forward. And even if you want to dive into iMovie and take this exact project, move it to iMovie, I'd be all for it. So just leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel. We really do appreciate it. And I love every single one of you. I would like to take this opportunity to thank you for viewing our content. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe so you can see all our training videos as well as links to download our podcast.